By Music Staff is studio management made easy. It helps you manage and streamline your students, schedule, billing and invoicing, and much, much more all in one place. Let's jump in and start setting up a new account. When you start your free trial, the first thing you'll want to do is add your students. Navigate to students from the main menu on the left. There are multiple ways to add new students to My Music Staff. If you want to upload students manually, you can either click on Import Students and upload a spreadsheet directly, or you can click on New Student. On this page, you only need to enter the student's first and last names. Everything else is optional. If you add a student's email or phone number, you can use this to set up email and SMS reminders. Under Show Additional Details, you can include many other fields as well. For example, you can tag the student with a group tag, which helps you organize your students into groups to act as a shortcut for scheduling events, assigning resources, sending messages, and more. Next, you can select what status you want the student to have, whether the student is an adult or a child, and whether the student is part of a new family or an existing family. The most important step on this page is to fill in the student's default billing settings. This allows you to start scheduling the student for lessons and helps to streamline things going forward. Select the default lesson category, or type of lesson they'll be taking, default lesson length, and how much the student will be charged for their lessons. For example, if this student pays the same amount each month regardless of the number of lessons, you can set the price per month. However, if your student pays by lesson, you can set that up as well. Please note that these settings do not indicate how often a payment is made, just how much those payments will be for. If you created a new family, then at this point, you will be given the option to set up automatic invoicing. This can also be set up at a later date if you don't have this information available. Click Save and your new student has been successfully added to your studio and will appear in your students list. From here, you can select students to send messages to, update their information, create new group tags, edit visible columns, and more. Let's go ahead and schedule this student for an event on the calendar. Navigate to the calendar in the main menu. You can add a lesson by clicking on the date itself or the Add Event button and selecting Add New Event. Here, you can set up several event options including the event visibility, attendees, date and time, and much more. Two of these customizable event options are called Category and Location. Both of these dropdowns are created by you and help to organize your lessons. For example, if you create a category called Group Lessons, events in this category can automatically have different default settings than your one-on-one -on -one lessons. Locations are also customized by you and can include not only physical locations and rooms, but also virtual lessons like Zoom, FaceTime, and Google Meet. These can both be set up in your calendar options. Let's say we want to schedule this student for a weekly recurring lesson. To indicate that this is a recurring lesson, select Recurring Event. Select the frequency as weekly and fill out the space as recurring every one week. If you do not want this event to repeat indefinitely, select this checkbox and set the date you want the event to repeat until, such as the end of the semester or until summer, Otherwise, keep this selected. Click Save. Now you can look at the calendar and see your new events. From this page, you can also update the display format, filter your events, sync your calendar to another device, and update a number of other default settings. Don't forget to add your categories and locations here so that you can use them in events going forward. After you've added your students and added their lessons to the calendar, the next step is to take attendance on the day of the lesson to let the system know that the student was present. Click on the lesson that you would like to take attendance for and click the Take Attendance button, and select the most appropriate attendance type from the drop-down menu. Selecting Present means that the student was present at the lesson, and Late means that the student was present, but they arrived late. Both of these options are billable, but you do have the option to change the price or add in a payment record if they paid at the lesson. Selecting an absent status means that the student did not attend their lesson, but you have the option to bill the lesson, 
provide a makeup credit, or not build a lesson depending on your studio's cancellation policies. Selecting a cancelled status means that the lesson was cancelled by the teacher and you have the option to either not build the student or provide them with a makeup credit. On the second tab, you have the option to record individual notes for the student, parent, or make a private note for yourself. There is also the option to include online resources and assign new repertoire at this time. The notes can be emailed or accessed through the student portal. The third tab will show you any previous attendance or lesson details from the student's previous lessons. Click Save and you're all done! So, you've told the system how much to charge each student for their lessons. Now you've told the system when their lessons are, and you told the system when they attended their lessons. What you can't see is the system working behind the scenes to calculate how much each student owes you. This is what we call calendar-based billing. Keep your calendar accurate and your billing will be accurate as well. All of this is being calculated in the Families and Invoices menu. You can see here that each student has their own family account. Families with multiple students will be managed from a single account, so you can provide them with one invoice that includes everything. Each family will have its own running balance. This allows you to quickly identify which families owe you money. A red status means that they owe you money, while a green status means they either have a zero balance or they have paid more than their current balance. Let's take a closer look at a family account. In this account, you can see an itemized list of every transaction in and out of this family's account up to the date at the top of the page. This date defaults to the end of the month, but you can always select a different date to update which information you can see at a glance. You can see here that each lesson automatically generates a $30 charge, just as we set up before. You can also manually add transactions for things such as books, recital fees, registration fees, discounts, and anything else that you need to add. To collect these fees, you'll need to create an invoice. Select the Invoices tab and click the New Invoice button. First, select your invoice date. This will appear at the top of the invoice. Next, select what transactions you want to include. Including the previous balance will make sure that any unpaid balance or credit from a previous invoice will roll over onto this one. Selecting this option helps prevent charges from being added to multiple invoices. The most important part of the invoicing process is selecting the date range you want the invoice to cover. This will determine which items and lessons are being charged for. You can invoice at any interval, by week, month, every six weeks, by the term, anything is possible. Setting a due date will indicate to the family when the payment is due. You can set up optional late payment reminders in your business settings. Click Next and choose the level of detail you'd like to include by selecting the appropriate format. Click Create, and you have created a new invoice for this family. Let's take a look! The invoice shows an itemized list of transactions with a very clear total amount due. You can also upload your studio logo to customize your invoices or use one of my music staff's available stock logos. You can even change the invoice accent color. In addition to accepting cash or checks, you can accept online payments in My Music Staff. We integrate with Stripe and PayPal. With this integration, families can pay you from the comfort of their own homes using the Click Here to Pay Online button on their invoice. When an online payment is completed, the payment will automatically be recorded in My Music Staff in their family account. Of course, you're likely not going to want to create invoices one by one for each family. With just a few clicks, you can invoice in bulk. Better yet, you can automate the process entirely by using the auto-invoicing feature. To set this up, select the families you want to set up with this feature and click on the auto-invoicing drop-down and select Enable Auto-Invoicing. Once you fill in the appropriate scheduling and design settings, the system will start automatically creating and sending invoices on your behalf. If you're accepting online payments with Stripe or PayPal, you can enable the auto-pay feature as well. 
Your invoices will be generated, emailed, and instantly paid without you or your families needing to do a thing. No more chasing down payments. Everything we've just looked at shows the core features of My Music Staff in action, but your My Music Staff membership includes so much more to help you streamline your studio management. Let's take a brief look at some of the additional features that you can find in your account. Keep track of physical items like sheet music and instruments with our lending library. Keep track of what repertoire your students are working on in the repertoire section. Upload files, photos, and videos with unlimited cloud storage to your online resources section and share with your students. Keep all of your business expenses in one place with our expenses and other revenue section. Keep track of your records and even upload receipt photos to automatically enter purchases. Speaking of keeping track of records, you can create a variety of reports in our business reports section, including attendance records and expense and revenue reports. Send this one off to your accountant and tax season is done. Share news and blog posts with your students in the student portal or on your My Music Staff website. My Music Staff also includes a studio website and website builder for you at no additional cost. We even provide a My Music Staff domain and will cover any hosting fees for you. With just a few simple clicks, you can start dragging and dropping blocks to customize the look and feel of your website. Check out our website builder overview series for a step-by-step -step guide on getting set up. If you don't host your website with My Music Staff and you have something built elsewhere like Wix or Squarespace, don't worry because you can still include forms such as our booking and sign-up forms on your own website. Once you're happy with your new website, click Save and Publish and your new website is now live. Finally, let's take a look at your home agenda. This gives you a summary of your account and provides a concise overview of your day. From this page, you can take attendance, launch virtual lessons, view recent lesson notes, see what repertoire your students are working on, and much more, making most of your day-to-day -day tasks accessible right from the home agenda. My Music Staff is a web-based application, which means that it can be accessed from any device that can be connected to the internet, including your desktop computer, laptop, tablet, and mobile device. You can even save My Music Staff to your mobile device so you can access it on the go. All of these features and more are included in your My Music Staff membership. Start your free trial today at mymusicstaff.com.